What is up, everyone? Welcome or welcome back to Eddie's World, the home of custom Akedo warriors and tournaments. So you all know we already made Carnage and Venom in our previous videos, and with Spider-Man No Way Home coming out, I figured why not make Iron Spider-Man. This has to have been the hardest customization I have done so far, and it's also my new favorite, so make sure you watch to the very end to see how it comes out, and without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so I'm starting with a broken Chucks Lee as you can see here. His nunchucks had broken during combat which is perfect for us as we will be removing his weapon anyways. And the first thing we need to do is reshape his head using a little bundle. I think I went a little crazy with the filler but that's okay because we'll just sandpaper that puppy down until we get the shape we're looking for. It's really important to get his head right because... His head looks so doofy. Like, what? Mm, it's like Megamind. <laughs> he looks like a noodle head. Yeah. So I'm spending a little extra time on this guy to make sure his head is perfect. I like to throw on a quick coat of paint to see what it looks like and then I can make any necessary changes before moving on. I also like to get the eyes on to make sure everything is going to work out. I really like what I'm seeing at this point so we are ready to proceed. For this next part, I'm going to bust out my 3D pen which has really been coming in handy for these customizations. And this is the look I'm going for so let's see what we can do. We got a little bit more experience this time around and I know now that I need to secure the spider legs better so I'm actually going to drill holes for them to sit in. I'm going to glue in three of his legs but his last leg I'm planning on being his weapon which will make this guy really unique because he'll be the only warrior that isn't holding his weapon. I think it's going to be really awesome if it all works out but I'm going to work on that later because I'm really getting anxious about this paint job and I want to bust out the brushes. So the first thing I like to paint are the internal parts and any pieces that need to touch other painted parts. That way, they can dry and I don't have to worry about them sticking together. This paint scheme was so overwhelming and honestly, I had my doubts. But at a certain point, I realized that I wasn't going to be able to get every single detail painted on. But instead, I needed to figure out what was essential for the character. As hard as these customizations have been, I really enjoy doing them because they have been coming out so nice and I do want to make one last Spider-Man themed customization and I'm going to let you guys decide who it is. So let me know down below in the comment section who you guys want. So what do you think of it so far? You think it looks like Iron Spider-Man? If you guys like what you're seeing, then please split strike that subscribe button and ball up your fist and smash that like button. In the middle of painting, I noticed Eddie had finished the project he was working on, so I decided to check it out and he never ceases to amaze me. I think that just gave me the motivation I needed to get this paint job done. If you're wondering why I'm painting his pants white, it's to brighten the metallic blue, which otherwise would have a hard time covering that metallic stoplight red. And this tool I'm using here is just the head of a pin that I cut off and stuck into the eraser side of a pencil. Spider-Man just doesn't look right with white pants, so let's go ahead and get the blue on. I'm glad I took the time to lay down that coat of white because even after one pass of metallic blue, it looks really good. I've been giving everything three coats and then I seal it with a clear coat because I know my boys are not going to take it easy on this guy. So he has to be durable and be able to take a beating as well as he can dish it out. 
I'm just using a sharpie to finish up the web design on his mask and if you do this you need to be careful not to touch the ink because it will rub off until you seal it. This is the spray on clear coat I use and I just put a little on at a time and I let it dry really good before reapplying. And the only thing left to do is make his weapon. So for this last spider leg, I'm going to use some wire to give it some durability. Then I'm just going to grind it smooth and glue it in at just the right angle. The length is just a little longer than an actual Akato weapon and it's because he needs to go up against Venom and Carnage and the rest of the OP custom warriors. Oh man, I'm so close to finishing. I just need a few coats of gold paint And check this out guys, do you like it? Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time to finish his custom controller or to test him out, but we will definitely be doing that in a future video. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the action. Thank you all so much for watching and please go check out one of these other videos and we will see you next time.